Last year was a struggle for a lot of people, but one couple in Westminster wanted to push their limits even further after spending a year cooped up during a pandemic. Our photojournalist Mike Grady caught up with them to hear about their latest adventure that tested them physically and strengthened their bond even more emotionally. We've always enjoyed doing adventures together. I am Marnie Plusco. This is my husband, Chris. We rode the Colorado Trail from Durango to Denver on a tandem mountain bike. Together the <laughs> whole time. <laughs> and as far as we know, we're the first people to ever do it. Right around 530 miles and somewhere close to 75,000 vertical feet of elevation gain. It took us 10 days, 13 hours, and 13 minutes to complete that. I have never seen one of those before. <laughs> That's a first. You know, it was, it was new for a lot of people to see and experience. We heard divorce bike a lot. Yeah, we, that's we, a big one. We finished uh, two days shy of our 17th wedding anniversary, so didn't hold true for us. I have raced bikepacking races for quite a long time. I've watched from the sidelines for so many years, and I thought I understood what was happening, and I truly had no idea. Getting to experience those pieces together and make our own memories out there was, was just awesome, you know? Now when I say the word Sergeant's Mesa, <laughs> <laughs> she knows Sergeant's Mesa, right? And just really getting to experience the really high highs and the low lows, but being with my very best friend. And he's going through the same feelings and we're seeing the same things and freezing our butts off at the same time. <laughs> and it was just a really cool experience that, that I really will forever treasure. So. Chris and Marnie say they aren't sure if they'll do the Colorado Trail again on a tandem, but they'll have some other long cranks lined up down the road. Mike Grady says long cranks is something all the cool kids say, so we decided to say it too.